Hi, my name is John Kimbrough, and I work at 105.9 KISS. I also work at Beasley Media, and there's many stations that work there, so including KISS, 105 on the Bounce, Praise Network, Couple Rock Stations, 101 The Riff, and WCSX, and Sports Talk, The Roar. Uh, I graduated from Thurco Elementary, which is a Detroit public school. I went to Paul Robinson Academy for middle school. I graduated from Detroit Central High School. I studied at Spex Howard School of Broadcast and Media Arts, where I graduated with a broadcast media degree, which got me my job at the radio station. I am just honored to be here and I'm about to read some books. All right, future great people, we are going to read The Big Bed by Bun Me Latterton, creator of The Honest Toddler and Pictures by Tom Knight. Let's get into it. See what it says on the inside here. Two's company, three's a crowd. Mommy, we have to talk. I see that look in your eyes, and I know what you're going to say. Just hear me out. The bed isn't big enough for the three of us. I think we both know what that means. Daddy has to go. <laughs> it's her face for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The hair, all that. She is not playing. <laughs> the big bed. For M, T, and F, with love from Mommy. For Rosine and Teddy. We need to talk about the big bed. <laughs> Dad is like going about his day. He's like, okay. I am a reasonable person. I don't want to see anybody get their feelings hurt. Daddy, please sit down. Who's <laughs> got the chair away? The cat. <laughs> I have no problem with you during the day. You're a wonderful wrestler. You're also a very gifted at the art of the horsey ride. Read that again. You're also very gifted at the art of the horsey ride. Ready. Okay. Mm -mm, too much. With the mask. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that you are a valued member of this team. A VIP. <laughs> a very important piggyback ride giver. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but every night we struggle with the same question. With the, more. Who does mommy belong to? Oh, <laughs> this is a circle of life here. <laughs> Quick question. Am I mistaken or don't you already have a mommy? Perhaps grandma is available to sing to you to sleep for... Ooh. Perhaps grandma is available to sing you to sleep three or four nights a week. I'm almost positive she'd be willing to tap, you, tap your back for a few minutes. Oh, Grandma. My Grandma used to tap my back. <laughs> I'm too big now. Science has proven that one of the many symptoms of bedtime is darkness. Daytime? Bedtime. <laughs> Daddy, are you scared of the dark? Because I am. I know you're convinced that my deep sea ocean wonder fishy light is some kind of night watchman, but you should know that it creates more shadows than it banishes. I can't sleep alone. Delicate question. Is it the pee-pee? I looked it up online, and you'll be thrilled to know that my tinkles are harmless. There are actually many benefits to waking up damp from liquid waste. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'll re oh my! You repel bears during the day. Ammonia smells are nature's alarm clock. No need to shower. You're already wet. Mm -mm. No, that's not going to work, baby. No, no, no. Space is definitely an issue. I appreciate how you try to squish your body into the far lower right corner of the bed, but that's no way to live. Besides. You need a restful night's slumber to prepare for a day of text messaging and telling me no. <laughs> Daddy, I see you. I hear you. You'll be thrilled to know that I've come up with a solution 
that you are sure to find not only satisfactory, but also quite generous, if I do say so myself. The cat's even in on it. Like, let's get it. <laughs> Ta-da. Ooh, she roared. <laughs> now, she, she roared. Ta-da. This old cot. Oh, no. Every night can feel like a camping trip with a metal and a canvas cot. With this almost twin size portable mountain bed, you'll feel like an honorary park ranger and look like one too. She is selling this. <laughs> look, <laughs> look, this one's even on sale. Oh my. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, daddy, hold on. I can already feel your resistance. You don't have to start out the night sleeping on your special nature box. We're all cozy. We'll all cozy up together in the big bed. And once you're nice and asleep, mommy and I will gently roll you onto your big boy bassinet. It'll be right next to ours if you need anything, anything at all, except being next to us. You can't have that. <laughs> In the morning, feel free to come and join us again. Quietly though, okay? We're resting. I presented this idea to mommy earlier and she laughed and laughed, which I took as two thumbs up. I hope you're excited as I am. Tell you what, tomorrow we're going to pick out some special new sheets for your awesome sleeping rectangle. <laughs> mommy and I just want you to be happy. <laughs> this is funny. I just read The Big Bed by Bummy Lattinson, creator of The Honest Toddler. 